welcome back to the Black Woman Be Well podcast YouTube channel. It is your girl, Jennifer, host of said wonderful podcast. And I'm actually on my way to a good friend's birthday party. And I wanted to take some time to do this quick video because something came to mind um, as I was getting dressed. So on New Year's Eve, my church always does like a um, New Year's Eve uh, celebration and we come out we sing and we share our testimony of the year and things that we've accomplished and um i was remembering the testimony i gave 2017 and 2018 were my worst years mentally physically emotionally i was unsatisfied at my job overworked underpaid um i was in a toxic relationship i didn't realize was toxic till i got out of it learned some lessons uh <laughs> <laughs> you know when things could be going good but when your spirit is not aligned it's still toxic so anyways and uh, it made me think of some things that i thought might be helpful for anybody else that's ever done a vision board so back in 2019 january my good friend dr sheila davis and she's been on the show before uh so check her out she was on episode three of our podcast uh, she organized a vision board party. And what was really awesome about her vision board party is we spent some time, before we started cut, cutting up pictures and stuff, we spent some time working through these reflective worksheets that she gave us. So we were able to, as a group, sit down and reflect and really think about some of the things we wanted to accomplish within the year. After the reflective process, after her giving us some really great insight into goal planning, that's when we started getting creative. We started finding pictures to complement what we wrote versus, you know how vision boards are, you always like kind of um, look for pictures that look nice, like, yeah, I want an airplane, you know, but how are you gonna get it? <laughs> so it was a really great approach to the activity. I took mine a little bit um, even to a step farther because I hate when I do these like visual activities and or visual journaling and then I look back a couple of months or a year later I'm like what the heck did I draw or why did I put this picture of a teddy bear on here you know I hate that feeling so I during the vision board party started to cut out um, some of the reflective thoughts we wrote on her worksheets and glued them onto my vision board because when I needed moments of inspiration, I knew that I was going to need a reminder of what I was actually thinking about or why I selected that picture um, for the board. Here's an example of the worksheets um, that I, the cutouts from the worksheets she used. So it's my 2019 vision board. It was really great to do it this way. And so I recommend for anyone that does vision boards, it's good to put a bunch of random pictures on your board, but it's really helpful to be very specific about what it looks like in terms of the year. What are some steps you're gonna take for the year? Write them down somewhere um, so that, you know, every month when you're looking at your board and you're checking in, you're actually able to see your progress. You know, if anybody's heard of SMART goals, you got me reason why this is important and why I'm bringing this up is because last year uh, at the same New Year's Eve party at my church, I said, I'm going to get a different job. 2019, I'm going to get a different job. I'm going to make more money, all this good stuff, right? Pay, get paid more, less work, and I want to utilize all my gifts and talents. Mm. Well, 2020 came around and, I, and here I am about to be 2020. And I still don't have a different job. <laughs> if I had not written down, though, um, actual steps on my board, I would have thought I had failed. Um, because although I picked images that symbolized wealth and more uh, a different job, what I actually wrote down were the things I did. I said stuff like apply to at least five jobs this year. I did that. Um, set up appointments with potential mentors. I have two professional mentors now. Um, and then finish my life coaching book and research certification programs. I did that. So it's actually been a great year. Why is this a praise report? Because um, 
despite being single, despite still being in my job, I am the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. Anybody that still has their board up, please, please, please spend some time and think about what you actually did. And yeah, you might not have got that airplane that you cut out and put on the board, but you know, maybe you did a step towards that. And so you need to give yourself a pat on the back. And even though it feels like you might not have gotten what you wanted for the year, chances are if you've been working towards it, it just wasn't your time yet. And that's how I'm looking at it. It just wasn't my time yet. But everything I've done this year has set me up so that when it is my time, I'm about to be like, you know what I'm saying, just soaring. And I actually am working 10 times harder now than I ever was because, um, you know, I started a podcast. I've been doing some success coaching on the side. I picked up extra projects at work because God really spoke to me. He said, I can't give you a different job right now, but I can give you some things so that you can learn some new skills. So when I do put you in the position, you're going to be a mess at it. So I already know what's in store for me for the future. <laughs> and that's what I'm excited about, to be in a position where I'm most prepared for, um, most confident in. And it comes down to being healthy, mentally healthy, finding that self-love, not being resentful because what you want isn't right in front of you right now. And sometimes your blessing comes in a different way and you have to be able to be happy about it you have to find happiness in it so that took a lot of maturity <clears throat> and like i said in the little video this is what single in your 30 looks like okay we are out here happy and it is it is okay and i really wanted to give this praise report so that people can also see a good example of what single in your 30 looks like it's not a bad thing, <laughs> all right? When you have good self-esteem, you love yourself, you love others, you got a little money to take a trip every once in a while, life is good. So I don't know who I'm talking to, but sis, let them go. I don't know who that's for. It's the 21st century, you answer the phone, there's no excuses. I just had to put that out there, you know, and so thank you, Jesus. So don't rush the process. And 2020 is a whole new year for new things, new magic, new black girl magic. We out here. We're going to live it up and we're going to do our best. Have a great week, y'all. Oh, she sounds like the queen of Sheba. She didn't need his money. She could carry her own weight. All right. Amen.